What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about what's going on with Louisville basketball. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Right now, Kenny Payne and Louisville have a huge problem with one of their players, Karan Davis, who joined the team after playing Juco Ball at Los Angeles Southwest. He might not be on the team moving forward. He was known as the elite scorer on Juco. He averaged 23.8 points, shooting 48% from the field and 33% from three. He was the type of player who wasn't on a lot of people's radars. It seemed like Kenny Payne found a star player and he was gonna become a nice piece for Louisville and a great scorer, but things didn't go as planned. He played in one scrimmage and one expedition game, then he never played again. He hasn't played in any regular season games which had people wondering why is he not playing and what's going on it was a rumor floating around in late november that he had behavioral problems and something happened between him and kenny Payne in a practice most people assumed there was an argument between the two but the program said nothing happened in the practice and everything was good nobody really knows if that rumor about the practice is true but after that happened he never sat in the louisville bench during games again kenny Payne brushed off what was going on and he showed support for Karan davis and said he's not in trouble and he's a part of the team right now on december 13th is when things got weird Karan Davis tweeted this I just finished my first semester academically at Louisville I'm extremely proud of myself I challenged myself in the classroom and got it done I'm enjoying the college experience being a true student athlete where I come from a lot of people don't get this opportunity I want to say thank you to everyone at the University of Louisville Cards Nation and the city of Louisville for taking me in today I'll be at the Yum Center supporting our women's team and my teammates at the doubleheader so right there everything seems fine he was happy to get through his first semester of college and he wanted to show support to the women's and men's basketball team but things took a turn for the worse about an hour after that louisville released a statement indicating that he was no longer a part of the team so when this happened karan davis had a follow-up tweet saying this i didn't express to anyone at the university of louisville that i wanted to transfer i never asked to transfer i enjoy being a cardinal the fact that official statement was released giving false information is disheartening and sad so you can tell he was caught off guard by this and he doesn't want to transfer and if you didn't tell them he wanted to transfer why did louisville make the statement saying this this whole thing doesn't make any sense maybe this was their way to dismiss him from the team and if that's the case doing it this way is messed up what makes this situation funny though is when all this was going down Karan Davis was sitting at the Louisville's women's basketball game and people wanted to interview him to see what was going on but he declined any interviews by saying not right now I have to wait Louisville's men's basketball team had a game the same night and it looked horrible this game they lost to Arkansas State who are three and seven one of the commentators during the game said this is embarrassing you know you're playing bad but one of the commentators are saying this during the game Louisville is now four and six last season they were 4-28 and, and if they keep playing as bad as they did against Arkansas State they will lose 20 plus games easily. Most fans are not rocking with Kenny Payne and they want him fired. Now after all that just happened how do you justify keeping him? Fans don't want to be patient wait for him to turn things around. I was big on Kenny Payne even though he didn't have a good first season I was thinking he'll make a big jump. They had a solid 2023 recruiting class coming in and some nice transfers so it looked like the season was going to be a good one. But now it's looking like Louisville should move on from him. Maybe everyone needs a fresh start. They had some small bright spots so far but for the most part they They've been looking bad this season but through all the chaos Kenny Payne is staying positive he gave a few statements after the game it seems like he's trying to keep his players in the best mindset as possible which is something you like to see from your head coach he said this this is part of the journey the journey to be a great player the journey to conquer yourself and to be able to handle clutter and handle chaos and to handle critics to handle and then still be true to what you say you are and what you want in your goals and aspirations I think they're learning that he also said I think they want to win I think they want to work hard but something has to happen within them to where they're able to show it so from those two statements he believes in his players and he's not giving up on them in this season so maybe he'll make some adjustments and start winning games and prove the doubters wrong and get louisville back on track but if things keep going downhill kenny Payne will make it to the end of the season the school loves him and they don't want to fire him he's a well-liked person and he helped louisville win an ncaa championship when he was a player for them so the last thing they want to do is fire him but tough decisions will have to be made if things don't start to get better hopefully kenny Payne can bounce back and get things right do you think kenny Payne's time with louisville is over can he turn things around this season and win games drop your opinions in the comments drop a like on the video and sub to the channel turn on post notifications so you know when i post i'm dropping a few videos this weekend so you don't want to miss out on that i appreciate y'all and i see you in the next video till next time